You're listening to an Anazal Ministries podcast. What's up, SG crew? Um, thanks for tuning in to this uh, unfortunate uh, special episode that is going to have a much different feel to it than our usual affair. Um, I'm joined by Josh. Um, and and we have the unfortunate responsibility of talking about um, what you saw me post about in Priests to the Geeks um, and what has been making the rounds of the news of um, 90 star uh, Jason David Frank and, and um, him passing away. And so I want to start off the conversation you know, this is, we're talking about a guy, I don't know about you, Josh, but I have had my, my ear to the, to the ground as far as what, what are, you know, you, you have this show, right? Most people, even nowadays, when they hear Power Rangers, they think of the original cast, Mighty Morphin, that era. And for those of us that lived during that time, I was like, the little kid equivalent of Beatlemania, like it was insane the levels of popularity. And there's so many of us that can tell stories about like these characters, guys like Jason David Frank were the reason why, you know, guys like me got into martial arts. You know, there's a whole generation of people who got into karate or different versions of martial arts because of what they were seeing. And as Christians, this whole idea of content creation and what's going on behind the behind the scenes and all of that, it takes on a different flavor when you're talking about this sort of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one, I know this one sits different, but a lot of times when it is your heroes, really, I mean, e even if you don't know the actor, maybe the actor is not your hero, you know, I don't know David Tennant, but the 10th Doctor is one of my heroes. I didn't know Kevin Conroy, but that was my Batman, right? So his passing, it's its hard. Um, but for it to be under these kind of circumstances, it's even harder. You know, this is not only one of your heroes, but it's something that's the way he went isn't typically thought of as very heroic. And what? how do you make sense of it? And, and I know that's just, it's a complicated thing and it's, it's tragic and it's sensitive and it's sometimes you just need to sit in it and you need to grieve, but also you need to search for answers, whatever way, you know, that's comfortable to you in your own time. And I honestly, I don't, I don't know what that looks like. I, I've been close to people who've known people who've taken their own life and that kind of stuff, but there isn't a clean answer to what this looks like, how to deal with it what it means in the end, what was the purpose, any of that. I mean, there aren't always clean answers, and sometimes you just got to be okay sitting in grief. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a difficult place to be because we are creatures that are prone to... Um, to hero worship, you know, and, and all of that. And, you know, we don't know, we, you have this, this person who gave so much hope and inspiration to other people that, you know, seem to struggle with that behind, you know, behind closed doors, you know, it, it, it was no, secret that he struggled and never really got over the death of his brother and that kind of haunted him in regards and there were other things that were going on and so on and so forth that it's just this is something that needs to be taken seriously and this is something that if you If you if this is something that that you have have struggled with, understand that you're not you're not weak for having depressive thoughts. This isn't some kind of weird sin or anything like that. 
that that mental health is a very real thing. And the one thing that I wanted to get on here and remind people of, you know, before we went, before we hit record, I said that most of the time we try to trend closer to 70% entertainment with 30% Christian. This is a time to remember, to, to remind you guys, like you, you are prayed for, you are loved deeply that that there is a a reality to hope that I'm not going to begin to unpack right now but something that that is very real and so down down in the description of this you know if you if you look in the episode description or if you find this and and you need to uh, a spot to find, go to go to facebook.com slash systematic ecology it'll be there in the comment section if you are in if you are in America and and you are and this is something that you that you struggle with 988 is the suicide and crisis hotline reach out to somebody understand that there is that there is beauty in in your life and and for us that are that that are are on the content creator side. This is a reminder not, to not take to not take the person in front of the camera the, their their mental state for granted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our listeners know I'm a big Dis nerd. Robin Williams, I mean that that killed me. And uh, you know I bring up these other things because I wasn't as familiar with Power Rangers, but. I do know how hard it can be when it's someone who represented these characters, even, even, even if you didn't know them personally, that meant so much to you, right? The genie meant so much to me. That's hard. Power Rangers. I saw some, they were really cool to me. I know for Joe, that this, this is like, you know, one of his heroes and that's, it, it is, it's difficult. Again, that number is nine, eight, eight. You can text it even. If you didn't know, and if Joe's okay, I'd like to tell a story of somebody I know. If that's okay, Joe. Yeah. Um, and like I said, this time we're seventy percent Christian, so hang in there with us. Because this is something I think it's especially hard for Christians to deal with, right? If they're just gone, that's one thing. But if you're a Christian and you're sitting here contemplating the afterlife, sometimes it even makes this stuff harder. Um. I know a guy, I'm not going to drop names or anything, who someone close to him had taken his own life, who had struggled with depression and struggled with anxiety and all of these things. It was a Christian. He was close to God. He was praying. He was doing all this, but he ended up taking his own life. And those close to him really struggled with this guy was a leader in the church. This guy was a Christian. What does this mean? And, you know, a lot of people found comfort that because he was Christian and, you know, the Bible doesn't say the only unforgivable, unforgivable sin was suicide. It says the only for, unforgivable sin is blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. I don't have a clear answer. I'm glad that some people are able to take comfort in that. And I think you should take comfort. I think you should. If you're in this situation personally, contact that hotline. If you're particularly affected or if someone you know is in these kind of situations and you don't know how to deal with it, there are counseling websites and counseling places where you can get a counselor who's willing to just message you back and forth. And sometimes that's a lot cheaper, you know, for me, I I think affordable a lot of the time, if you can go in person, I think that's more helpful, but if all you can do is afford one of these sites where you can message someone who's willing to talk to you, that can make a world of difference and mental health. It's hard. It's a result of the fall as a lot of our biological fallacies are there aren't always clear what you should do or how to handle it. Find someone to talk to, reach out, stay close to God, stay in prayer, and uh, be comforted that you're not expected to know all the answers. It's okay. That God is fair and just, and he knows what's going on in other people's lives. He knows what's going on in your lives. And God is love, and he loves you deeply wherever you're at. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm going to 
close the close out this episode in a way that we don't normally do on the main feed. And and I'm gonna pray. And mm-hmm. and if if you are listening and you are not a Christian, then thank you for tuning in. Um, you know, I, I hope our words that if you are part of the generation of people that were affected by by this, then uh, I, I hope our words were a measure of comfort to know that you are are not the only one that has been affected by this. But And I want to add to that, um, we're in Thanksgiving is coming up tomorrow for those of you listening. For me personally, this is a hard Thanksgiving. I lost two of my grandparents this year. But I'm choosing to try to be thankful for the lives they did live and the impact they did have on me. And hey, this is fresh. It's not going to... You know, I'm not expecting everyone to do that, but I think the most healthy thing to do in the long term is to be thankful for the impact this man did have on all of us and to look at the positive impacts of his life and try to focus on that the best you can. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. Um, like I said, if this, if you're not, if, 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 if that's not, if that's not for you, then, then thanks for listening. But here we go. Father God, um yeah, there there are I I lift up to you, Father, a whole group of people that have been affected by this the the very real sting of death. And that this is a very unfortunate reminder that we live in a fallen world. Um, father, I, I, I pray for, I pray for this man's family. He, he, he left behind kids. He left behind a spouse and I just, I pray for them and I lift them up to you, father. I, I pray that, that, that they know you and that they are able to find rest and peace and any measure of comfort in you right now. Father, I pray that we are reminded and we are rejuvenated in the spirit that we are held by you. Even, even when it seems like things are going backwards, even when it seems like things are going absolutely haywire here and now. Father, I, I just, I lift up, I lift up your people to you that we are reminded in times of tragedy that you are king and that you are Lord. Father, I thank you. I love you in Jesus' name. Amen. This was an Anazal Ministries podcast. If you enjoyed this show and would like to learn more about our network, be sure to check out the Anazal Ministries podcast network.